guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Oop, not the shirt that I'm gonna change into right after I do this because it's 12 in the morning. <laughs> and in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be transforming myself into a flutterfly, a butterfly. Um, this is like my Halloween costume, basically. Um, I did the Aaliyah look. I always wanted to recreate her. So I thought it was cool to do so. That's like the first Halloween look that I put on my channel this year. So this will be the second. And we'll have a third, maybe a fourth. Most likely just a third. So I'm basically going to be turning into a butterfly. Um, I thought this was something really cute and affordable to do. Especially because, I mean, a lot of people are going out. But a lot of people are still home. Because like, you know. So... I thought this would be really cute to do. It was affordable. So, yeah. And I'll be doing everything. I'll be doing, like, my makeup using drugstore makeup so that this is an affordable look. Going with the affordable outfit and the affordable wings. So, if you guys want to be a cute little butterfly on a budget, okay? Then please keep watching. To start off, I'm going to take my LA Colors brow pencil. I'm going to fill in my brows. I'm gonna go into some primer, so I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Pose Putty Primer, but before that, I want to, ooh, girl, a mess. I want to moisturize, so I'm using my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer. Just always great to have some moisture and SPF, and that is in this product. Okay, now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Pose Putty Primer. So I'm gonna prime my lids and to do so, I'm going to take the CoverGirl True Match Concealer in shade Buff Beige. I do like to still go in with a lighter shade as like my primer for my eyeshadow because it kind of highlights the brow bone as well as primes my eyes for eyeshadow application. Oh, not the mascara coming off, woo child. So we're gonna start off with the eyes. So for the eyes, my wings i'm gonna show you them <laughs> my wings are black and gray so i want to do something that is black and gray so that's what i'm gonna do i take my maybelline the rock nudes palette and we're just gonna wing it no well i'm gonna go in with this flat brush and i'm going to go into this deep gray toned and this like black almost gray tone and i'm gonna apply that to the outer corner winging it um because i want to kind of do like an ombre like gray to dark gray kind of vibe i think that's what i've envisioned in my head while i was thinking of this look so we're gonna try and execute that onto the eye now I'm not using this brush to blend it out I'm kind of using it to place the shadow and the shape I want because the shape of the brush is kind of how I want the shape of the shadow to be so I'm kind of packing it on blending a bit so it doesn't look too crazy but I'm not worried about the blending at this moment because I'm just kind of laying down the shadow I'm gonna take another brush and do that right now so i'm gonna take this brush it's like a fluffy brush and i'm just gonna take the gray tone go over that and fluff it all out okay so i'm gonna go into the deeper grayish black toned and go over because i don't want it to be like black black um, I like the gray in it. I just think it fits the vibe. I'm gonna take like a clean um, blender brush and this is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH30. I'm just gonna go over what we did to make sure that everything is 
blending out nicely and not being cuckoo kachoo. I'm taking the same uh, CoverGirl True Blend Concealer and I'm gonna cut out the crease, but I, yeah, just cut out the crease. I'm gonna take this brush, it does have a little bit of shadow on it, but I'm hoping that the shadow just doesn't get onto the concealer and I'm patting that in and blending it into the deeper toned grays that we've already laid down so that the blend is more seamless and so that we can get a nice, you know, look. I'm already liking where it's going because um, the concealer on top of the uh, deeper shades kind of make it gray. So that's kind of what I'm going for. But I'm going to take the lightest gray tone in this palette. They don't have names, but I'm taking that shade and I'm going to just apply that to that area. So I'm going back in with the second blender that we used and I'm going to blend those two shades together so that we are creating a nice transition between the two. So yes, and then I'm going back and forth in between so that we we're just perfecting it as we go. I mean, it's kind of just a process, like a personal process when it comes to that. I'm gonna take that same concealer and I'm going to kind of clean up the under eye a bit before starting my face. Um, I do want it to be sharper, kind of like, you know, the butterfly wings type, type of vibe. I'm gonna go in with the. I'm sorry, I'm not looking at you guys. I keep misplacing everything. Hold on, let me, let me, let me get my life. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna take the first brush and I'm gonna just extend it onto my temple so that it kind of mimics this eye because I like the way that this went. So I'm mimicking that on the other side a bit. And boom, taking my beauty blender and I'm blending that out. Fashion Nova bodysuits are hella comfortable. This is the first one that I've ever gotten. This is from Fashion Nova and I'll link it down below so you can like get the completed butterfly look. But this is the first bodysuit I've ever tried and I'm shocked. Like it, it's really good. You know people be overhyping things. I'm like bruh, it's gonna make me feel fat. No, not at all. I feel hugged in the right, I don't know. I feel like hugged, wow. Let's move on to the face. Okay, shit, I didn't know I had any foundation left. So for the ma for the face, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in shade 312 Golden Beige. And I'm gonna apply that. I don't have anything left more than this, so if I run out, I'll be mixing a foundation over top. So I'll let y'all know if I do that, but. It's so funny because I feel like my forehead is the place where... Oh, no! <gasps> no! Not me getting stuff on my new clothes. <gasps> Freak! But I feel like my forehead is what needs the most coverage and I do it last. I'm like, my girl. Um, if you don't have foundation left, you better start on your forehead. Whatever, we still make it work. I'm dragging it down to my neck as per usual, whatever is left on the back of my hand. For concealer, I'm just gonna use the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation in shade L10. Like I said, I was running out of the foundation, so kinda wanna add a little bit more coverage using this. So that's what I'm gonna do on my face. I'm gonna take this Essential Beauty foundation brush. You can literally use your e.l.f. one, doesn't matter, y'all. And I'm just applying it like so. This is not normally how I apply my concealer, but I don't know. And I'm gonna blend it with that same beauty blender. I like using this foundation as like a concealer. It, it 
provides good coverage and it's really nice like to mix with another foundation like it's not bad at all mm. so i'm going to bake and to bake i'm going to be using the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in shade light medium 20. i'm gonna take my beauty blender and just apply that onto the places where i highlighted I'm gonna take a little bit of that same powder and use a total face brush from e.l.f. and apply that onto the rest of my skin to kind of set it in place so that we're ready for the next powder products that we're gonna be using. Okay, so for contour, I'm gonna use the Beauty Bakery Neapolitan Bar and I'm gonna use the contour shade very lightly because this can be very deep on me and just kind of look a little crazy. So I'm gonna take one swipe and tap on and then blend. And I think that's how I'm going to build it if I want to. So tap and blend. Okay. You know, I liked this product a lot, but I just felt like it was too deep. But now that I'm tapping into the product and then tapping the product on my skin and then blending, this is coming out the way I would want my, you know, bronzer contour to look. And I don't mind it. I feel like I look like someone who would have been in like Ice Princess right now because of the gray. I don't even think that was a main color in the movie. I guess maybe just because it's ice skating. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to take that same total face brush and just blend everything together while wiping away that powder. I like doing this because I feel like, I don't know, it just kind of blends everything together when I do it for me personally. So I'm going to beauty blend my lips because I have chapstick on and I need a clear canvas, sweetie. So now I'm going to be taking the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in shade Exit, and I'm going to line my waterline and I'm gonna do it all the way through. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Mascara and I'm just gonna apply that to my lashes. I'm not too sure if I'm going to apply lashes because I somehow lost my lashes. So, yeah, there's that. I feel like there's too much powder on my face, so I'm going to set my face just with some cucumber water. I'm going to take the same Beauty Bakery Neapolitan Bar. And I'm going to use the highlight shade. I'm going to highlight. I feel like that's a pretty highlight. It's very subtle for my skin tone. And I love this formula. I love the formula of like all of all three of these. The blush, highlighter, and bronzer. And I'm slowly building it up to the intensity that I want. I don't think I want it to be too intense, but I'm going to take the blush on the Sonia Kashuk brush and... My highlighter brush that I used was the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH09, by the way. And I'm just gonna add that to my cheekbones. You see the difference that I made a little bit? Like, nothing crazy, but... I'm loving this! Oh, I feel like I need to do my lips because I feel like I look a little cuckoo. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Retro Paradise liner and gonna sharpen it because she's not sharpened. I'm gonna line my lips with that. Kinda like this as a lip. Hmm. I'm gonna take the Colourpop X Karuchi lipstick in butter. Butter. And I'm gonna apply that into the middle. Great nude. 
and it blends in so nicely when you want to do like a cute ombre. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. liquid liner and emphasize my beauty marks. These are lashes from Amazon and I'm just gonna take them and apply them. I like them. Um, I don't remember the name of them, but I can link them down below. I also did a video on them, so I'll actually just link the video and you can check out the review on them. I don't feel like cutting them, so I'm gonna see how it looks without. I wanted to add rhinestones into my inner corner so I think that's what I'm gonna do I either wanted to add smaller medium size because I don't I don't think like large ones would look appropriate like it just would not look good on my eye like that yeah 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 I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line a little bit because I like the white, but I feel like it's a bit too intense um, to go with the top of my eyes. So I'm gonna take the lighter gray and I'm gonna apply that into the bottom lash line. Oh, that made the look different, hold on. That did something different. So I accidentally like made it too long, but I kind of want to try something. So I'm going to take some concealer and I'm going to make it, hold on, and I'm going to make it like a sharp wing on the bottom makes sense i feel like i've seen looks like this i just don't know what it's called but um okay i'm just gonna use that same brush we use to apply the gray and hope pray that it doesn't go there but i'm going to lightly blend this out and see what that's gonna do for that like for what i just did and also help blend out the lower lash line as i'm blending this in I'm going to try and get a little bit of foundation. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Lip Lingerie in Baby Doll. Becky should. I'm gonna take some more cucumber water. I like like it, but don't at the same time. How are we feeling about it? I kind of like it. Okay, so time for wings. Let's let's put on the wings and I'll be back. These are the wings. I showed you guys them. Super cute. I actually got them on sale, so hope they're still on sale. I'll obviously, like I said, link them down below. Can you guys see them? I hope you can because I don't know how the hell. Boom. So that is it for this butterfly makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.